tonesavvy.com and today instead of note naming and things we're going to go down here to ear training practice and intervals I'm just going to click on this and it'll take us there and don't just dive in we want to set this up so when it says what intervals are we using we're going to go to custom and right now it wants to do major thirds, perfect fifths, and octaves. And we're going to deselect those. And in fact, we're going to deselect major thirds and minor thirds. We're just going to do major and minor seconds. Okay. And we're going to show advanced options. It says ascending. And that's, that's not the way we're going to do them. Everybody learns these things ascending. It's easier. But... Um, we're going to get more practice descending to begin with. Okay. It's a more difficult skill. And, you know, as much as I might, as I hate to admit, my father was right about some things. Uh, he, and he took all the fun out of learning to drive when he, this is an example of this. He took me out to learn to drive by putting me in a parking lot late at night when nobody was around and having me back up into the parking stalls. And I was going like, when do we get to go? And he's like, if you can do it backwards, you can do it forwards. If you can do these descending, you know, ascending is actually easier. So we're going to start you off by doing descending, but limiting the number. And to start with, we're going to use the same note. This is going to make it very easy because you're going to hear the same starting note, right, for every interval. I'm going to start the quiz. All right, can you hear it again? Bum, bum. So what I want you to do is I want you to hear it and then I want you to sing it, sing it along with it. Bum, bum. Now you can sing it the other direction. Bum, bum. That is a half step. They're very close. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So we choose minor second, right? All right, let's go to the next one. That's a higher note to begin with, and it's going down bigger. Mm -hmm. Sing along with it a couple times. Mm -hmm. If you want, you can practice by singing it backwards. Mm -hmm. And that's a major second because it's two half steps or wider. And I, I need you to do this for hmm, how many times is enough? Well, you know, let's have you do it until you feel good about it and you're, you're very consistent or you know maybe five minutes or so if you're doing it great all the time okay now we're going to go and change the settings so let's do settings again and we're going to take off the start on the same note every interval mm -hmm. sounds like a half sip to me you can train your voice to hear that push between them right and then Mm -hmm. So you're getting interval training out of this. You're also getting good practice at hearing a note and matching it with your voice right away. Mm -hmm. Sounds like another half step, right? Mm -hmm. Okay, and there you go. Now, another good thing you can do is you can come up with a song that you know has this at the very beginning of a phrase or in a place that you go i can always hear this um this is a um, tried and true thing and we'll talk about intervals later to help you but um there's a song called uh, memories i think barbara streisand back in the 70s made it very very popular and famous and there's other more modern songs you can figure out too but if you learn a song with a major second in it going down that can help, or a minor second going down, that can help as well. Not always, but it can, okay? So practice it with the, um, always on the same note. I guess we could just change them all right here now, right? And then, after you're done that, um, you can try doing it harmonic, which is at the same time, okay? And one of them sounds like, um, like car bumpers, and the other one sounds, I don't know, like you got chlorine up your nose and you go like ah and your head hurts mm. now um hmm, let me see if i can help you out with this i'm gonna go to my piano i 
if it sounds like the beginning of chopsticks, then it's a major second. If it sounds tighter than that, then it's going to be a minor second. Let's see. Mm -hmm. You can also try and hear the notes that way too, but that's harder to do. Okay. And then I hear how close those sound together. Sounds like you, you know, somebody made a comic. Oh, you made an error kind of comment with your music and stuff. Now, hmm, harmonic is very difficult, actually. But uh, you certainly can practice descending, then ascending, and then you could try harmonic, okay? Um, and go through the process that we did there. Uh, certainly get good at descending and then ascending. But um, don't worry so much if this is a struggle in the first weekend. We'll, we'll work on that as we go, okay? Now we're going to stop the quiz, and then we're going to change it from major thirds and minor thirds, okay? And I'm going to make them... Uh, descending as well okay and start quiz mm -hmm. now uh, again sing it and if you've got a song that goes with it that's great if not you can just try and measure the distance between the two mm -hmm. you can also capture them and sing them backwards mm -hmm. oh, it sounds like go Canada to me Oh, Canada, right? Which is a minor third because that's me, so, right? There we go. And then, make and if it sounds like swing low, I guess we're already going to songs. Mm -hmm. Or you can get it backwards and go, mm -hmm. do, me, so, mm -hmm. right? Um, there's a hymn, I need the every hour, which is also a major third, okay? So there we go. All right don't do them all at the same time together we just want to get good at hearing the differences between minor and major third and sorry thirds and minor and major seconds okay this weekend just get good at that it's a skill to hear some notes that are completely out of context from the, the last pair that you heard capture them with your voice and then sing them back a few times and measure them okay um, I will put up a list on canvas of how long you should do each one of these it's a little different for every person because some people need more practice and some people need a little less before they move on because of background. And yet, and yet, uh, everybody needs some practice. So, okay, and that's it. There you go.